In this video, I'm gonna show you how to write your first script and execute it using Bash. First, you're gonna open up your text editor. Don't worry about the top part, I'll explain that later. First, you're gonna write sudo apt update dash yy. YY helps automate the process so you don't have to hit yes when you wanna install stuff or whenever it asks you a question when you do this stuff. Next, you're gonna write sudo apt dist dash upgrade. This will upgrade the system. And then again, the YY, so if it asks any questions, just say yes. And then exit, just so it exits. Okay, back to the top part. If you write this in the top part, when you save it, it'll realize that you're trying to write bash script. And it'll actually color it for you. So let's save it right now. Let's click on file, save as. And make sure you name it something unique so you can find it later. You're going to need to find this file in terminal. So let me do something really creative. Okay, super creative. Save it. Let's put it somewhere you know where it's going to be. But we'll save it in documents. As you can tell, now it's colored. You can see the difference here than it was previously. Now let's go to our terminal. Let's make this a little bigger so you can see it. All right, I'm going to type CD to put us in the home directory and LS to list everything in it. And we want to go to the documents folder. So CD documents, hit enter. LS, so we can see what's in it. There's our file. We need to change this file into an executable. So this is the command to do it. CHMOD changes the mode of the file. We're going to go to X is for the executable. And if we hit tab twice, it will finish it for you. We'll find the file. It auto finishes for you. And now if you were to do LS, that's a different color. That means it's now an executable file. If you ever get lost in terminal, just type in PWD, print working directory. I tell you exactly where you are. So you're in documents so now you hit dot slash the dot means that your current directory you're in slash you can point it toward the file right there asking for my password putting in the password and now let's do it we're running the script that we just created in that text file and you did it you just created your first script and then you changed it into an executable file all using terminal Again, I'm learning Bash myself. This is just one of the first ones I did, and I'm really excited because it's now I'm starting to understand it a little bit more. But first thing is cybersecurity, understanding this stuff, and I'm working on getting a good foundation understanding of this, and I just wanted to share my journey with you. So if you know anything better, please share in the comments, and I'll see you in the next one.